This is Mamata Samaras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. And this is our, uh, in our 3D problem, this is our isometric view. And uh, this side, if we look out in this side, here you can see we uh, our isometric view. Orthogonal view here. Okay. So here in this portion, this is our top view. Okay. And this is our right side view and this is uh, the final section view our section view a by a is this one so this is our section a by a view so our top view right side view and section view so first of all uh, here i am going to draw a uh, center line here and this center line will have a dimension of 23 unit then i'll going to offset uh, two lines okay and these two lines has a total distance of 14 unit and the half distance will be uh, 7 in each side okay 7 distance and 7 distance and from this uh, point i will draw a circle and this circle has a dimension of 9.5 radius okay and from that uh, this uh, intersection point i will do a fillet and this intersection uh, point fillet has a dimension of 20 unit then i will close this shape and then I will extrude boss. I will extrude boss into up to this upper side, and it has a extrude boss of 9.5 unit. Okay, so let's do this in our uh, solidworks. So I'm going to select the top plane from here. Now right click on it. Now sketch the normal to it. Uh, okay, now I'm going to select a line tool and draw a line of 23 unit now i submit ticket for a better view here you can see um, we're in the same path okay now normal it so now i'm going to uh, use the offset tools from here so select the offset entities and we have a total distance of 14 unit so 14 divided by 2 so it will be 7 unit now make sure to select bidirectional now press ok now here we are going to select uh, okay let me right click on it here and select the construction geometry and make this line a construction geometry line okay now selecting the circle tool from here and drawing a circle of 9.5 radius so 9.5 multiplied by 2 so it will be a circle of 19 unit okay after that we are going to trim it so i am going to see the trim entities and trimming this line and this portion and also trim this line and this portion now press ok now we are going to need to do fillet in this each side for that i am going to select the uh, fillet entities from here and dimension it to <coughs> uh, 20 units now select this corner and select this other corner now press ok so our fillet has been done now I'm going to select the line tool, okay, select the line tool and closing this line or you can select the offset entities in their capping for closing this line. Okay, both way or works same way. So we're going to now going to do the isometric kit. Now go to features, now extrude boss and we have extrude boss of 9.5 unit. So we are giving extrude boss of 9.5 unit. Now press OK. So this portion has been done. Let's go back to our drawing here. So in our drawing, if we look at, at here, we have a uh, circle here. Okay, we have a circle here, and this circle, if we uh, talk about here, uh, this circle has a radius of 15 unit. Okay, if we see here, this circle has a radius of 15 unit. For drawing this circle, we need to draw. Uh, first i'm going to from this point i will going to draw a cent center line and this center line has will be have a dimension of 15 units and from this 15 unit distance i will draw a circle okay in the right plane and this circle uh, will extrude to boss uh, to 14 unit total it will be extrude boss to 14 unit so if i select this, this mid plane so uh, 7 unit in this side and 7 unit this other side okay so i'm going to select the right plane from here now right click on it now sketch then normal to it now going to select the center line or you can use uh, the 
draw the circle and use the dimension later to place the circle both towards the same way i am using the construction geometry lines okay i am using a 15 unit construction geometry line so here uh, as the total diameter is 15 units so we have to uh, select the center point distance so 15 divided by 2 so it will be 7.5 unit and from this 7.5 unit distance i'll draw the circle and this circle has a dimension of 15 multiplied by uh, sorry 15 diameter now isometric it for a better view now go to features now it's to boss now it's to boss it to 14 unit so i'm going to expose it to 14 unit you can use the bidirectional or you can use the mid plane okay now press ok so what this circle portion has been done okay let's go back to our soy doors now so this time in our soy doors if we uh, let me say zoom it a little okay uh, if we see here in our 3d drawing uh, we have uh, some cut here okay some cut here and another cut portion here and how we'll going to draw this to cut portion for that if we go back to our uh, this 2d sketch here uh, our cut portion has been situated in uh, this face and we, uh, along this uh, along this section a a view we can see how the cut face has been created okay so let's go back to our section a a view okay so in our section a view here you can look that uh, we need to draw first a, a circle okay from this origin uh, we will draw a circle and this circle has uh, this circle okay let me draw it more good from this origin we need to draw a circle and this circle has a radius of 8 unit okay and then we will draw another circle here and this circle has a radius of 1.5 unit uh, this circle okay and this circle we will make them to tangent and then this 1.5 radius circle and this along this line we will make them tangent and we can see we have another circle here and this another circle here has a uh, dimension okay has a dimension of radius 5 unit here this radius 5 unit circle and this radius 8 unit circle has a tangent here and then we can see uh, we have another straight line here and along this straight line uh, with uh, along this straight line this radius 5 unit circle also tangent after that i will uh, i will trim all the unnecessary part and cover up this portion okay and then i will use the h to cut features okay uh, so let me go here uh, how much we will going to cut so first of all uh, before drawing this portion uh, along this side i will take a uh, plane okay i will take a reference plane along this one and i will do a extrude cut of 1.5 unit here okay along this distance 1.5 unit extra cut then i will use the mirror tool take this right plane as a reference mirror plane then i will do the same extrude cut along this side also by using mirror entities okay so let me zoom out a little okay okay let's go back to our soy rocks now so now i'm going to select this back face okay now i'm going to select the reference now select plane and this plane has a distance and for how much distance this plane cover okay so if we look up out in our in here our total distance is 14 unit okay so from 14 unit if we subtract 1.5 unit then 3 unit then 1.5 unit it means if we subtract uh, 6 1.5 1 1.5 is equal to 3 and plus 3 equal to 6 if we subtract 14 minus 6 we get 8 unit distance and from that 8 unit distance we have half distance here and half distance here so 8 divided by 2 so we'll take a reference plane of for after 4 unit distance okay so let's go back to our solid works so i'm going to select uh, 14 minus 1.5 minus 3 minus 1.5 now it's divided by 2 so it will be 4 unit okay now flip the offset now press ok 
so this portion has been done now isometric it for a better view now select this plane now right click on it now sketch the normal to it and again normal to it for uh, matching this view along this view okay so i'm in pressing control it for making it uh, again normal view okay now we are going to select the circle tool from here and draw a circle and this time along this origin we will draw a circle of radius 8 unit so 8 multiplied by 2 so we will draw a 16 unit circle okay uh, after that uh, we are going to draw a 1.5 unit radius circle for that here we are going to draw a uh, 1.5 multiplied by 2 so it will be have a 3 unit circle now select uh, both of this circle by pressing control on your keyboard so after that uh, we will get the uh, tangent relationship here so select the tangent here now press ok again i uh, will going to select this circle and select uh, select this straight line ok select this line by pressing control on your keyboard and then again we will select the tangent relationship here now press ok now we will do the same thing uh, for our uh, 5 radius circle for that I am again selecting the circle tool from here and drawing a circle of 5 radius so 5 multiplied by 2 because it is a diameter so we have a, uh, drawn a 10 diameter circle ok now let me move this circle a little here ok we have moved this circle a little here and now I am selecting this circle and control uh, pressing this uh, both circle now pressing the tangent here so it, this to become tangent in the same way uh, we need to draw uh, this select this circle and this upper line okay and select this upper line and make them tangent okay so we have done making all of the tangents now we need to make sure if this all the portion are extricated for that I'm selecting the line tool and uh, along this joint point okay along this joint point Uh, I am drawing a portion okay, let me zoom it a little okay clicking here so that uh, we could still cut all the portion clearly so I am selecting trimming this tool and trimming all the lines uh, unnecessary lines that we uh, don't need here so all the lines that we don't need so we have trimmed all the portions here so finally uh, we should have uh, this type of curve here you can see uh, here we have gotten uh, this type of curve and in our sketch here uh, it also showing the same curve here so we're in the same path okay so now I am going to isometric it for a better view now go to features now is to cut we are going to estimate it to 1.5 units ok so we are going to estimate it to 1.5 units now press ok so this estimate has been done in a similar way uh, let me hide this plane first ok I am hidden this plane now in a similar way I am selecting the right plane here and along this right plane I will use the mirror entities and what we I wanted to mirror uh, features to be mirror I want to mirror our last uh, from this tree menu select the our last estimate cut ok now press ok so our this estimate portion has been done in the other side also now this time uh, if we look and go back to our uh, 2d portion here you can see along this side we have a circular cut and this circular cut has a diameter of 6.5 unit so let's do this circular cut okay and here another things uh, if we talk about uh, we can see uh, in here uh, we have another circle and this circle has a diameter of 13 unit and this 13 unit diameter circle has a distance of 2.5 unit and after that we, we can see we have another hexagonal here and this hexagonal has this upper portion and this lower portion distance is 8 unit and it has a extra cut of here we can see 2.5 unit then we can see we have another uh, extra cut circle in this inner portion and this inner portion is to cut cycle has a diameter of 5 unit and this 5 unit is to cut cycle along, is to cut along this line and finally uh, we can see we have some uh, fillets we have fillets of 0 0.5 minutes so we will give uh, later on the fillets 0 0.5 minutes fillets okay 
so i am going to select uh, this uh, first of all i'm going to select this upper face now right click on it now sketch the normal tweak now i'm going to select this circle from here and placing this circle to the previous circle uh, origin or center line and then we're going to uh, draw a circle of 6.5 diameter now isometric it for a better view and uh, now go to features now is cut now is to cut it to through all okay uh, so we can use this to cut it to through all both or through all or you can use and get a manual dimension and uh, all works the same way okay now i'm going to select this side face now i click on it now sketch the normal to it i'm going to select a circle tool from here and again uh, okay before drawing a circle uh, let me show you another things uh, okay okay let me finish the circle first okay uh, so uh, we are going to draw a circle in the previous circle origins okay so uh, along the pdm circle origin we'll draw a circle of 13 diameter so we have drawn our circle now i submit it for a better view now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to 2.5 units so we're going to is to boss it to 2.5 units and not mid plane we're going to select the blind along a side now press ok so this portion has been done now select this upper face now right click on it now sketch then normal to it and now it's time for uh, drawing our hexagonal portion okay for that uh, we can see uh, this polygon select this polygon from the sketch tool and here select the as, as this is hexagonal select this parameter 6 okay now let me close the tree okay it won't close okay now place this circle to the previous circle origin and draw a hexagonal shape after that uh, we are going to select the expand dimension tool to dimension it properly and we know from this upper face to this lower face the distance is 8 unit okay so i i am giving that distance is 8 unit now i may take it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now we're going to is to get it to 2.5 units okay uh, so we will going to get it to 2.5 units so for that i'm going to select the line tool uh, now dimension is 2.5 units already given now press ok so this portion has been done now i'm going to select this right uh, this inner face this inner hexagonal face now right click on it now sketch the normal to it now we are going to select uh, the circle tool again and placing the circle to the previous circle origin and this circle has a uh, we can see this circle has a diameter of 5 units okay now i submit it for a photo uh, for a better view now go to features now it should cut now it should cut it to through all okay we're going to to cut it to through all so i'm going to select it through all both now press ok so what this portion has been done now i submit it uh, i submit it again now we're going to use the fillet tools okay uh, so here uh, go to fillet and our fillet has a dimension of uh, 0.5 units so i'm going to select this fillets and dimension giving the dimension to 0.5 units now select this inner ring uh, select this outer ring and all the fillets give them now press ok if we go back to our uh, sketch again uh, we can see we have another uh, fillet here and this fillet has a dimension of 6.5 unit okay this fillet has a dimension of 6.5 unit so i'm selecting the fillet tool again and dimension to 6.5 units fillet 6.5 unit now rotate it here and select this upper portion one this this second upper portion and this third upper portion now press ok so our all the edge has been selected now i submit it for a better view uh, let me zoom out our drawing for a better view here okay so here you can see uh, as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different